the single one. It looks like that probably was the cat. It looked quite yeah. tiny. Let's see if we can catch them up. Um, they don't have a, have a dorsal fin when they come back to you. They actually have a series of about six to eight knuckles that make a ridge along their back. And then, as I mentioned earlier, they do all their migrating from uh, Baja, California, and Mexico. The reason being, it's a lot warmer down there than there. When their uh, babies are born, they don't have the vascular blubber necessary to survive in the cold water up here. For uh, the adults, they have about a foot of, uh, of blubber on the outside. Does the cat stick pretty close to the They do, yeah. Humpbacks, they spend a lot of time touching. There's a cormoran, a black uh, diving bird that's flying by. The, uh, the humpbacks will touch kind of like fins as they swim off them. But uh, these guys, they stay very close, they're not, they're not as touchy as well. Uh, usually about a year. So they go down, I also to do all their mating down there, so the males will go down. That's where you see a lot of the spy hopping that happens, uh, males are trying to attract the females. That was a gray whale. It was, California gray whale. Do these whales reach the way the humpbacks did? Uh, generally not up here, they're, they're really interested in feeding when they're up here. There's a lot of life uh, in the water, but uh, Mexico. Sometimes you see a juvenile like uh, practicing and trying to nail, but uh, it's not as often as I try to The reason uh, these guys are so food oriented is they, for about five months when they're down in the oh, yes. oh, There it is. I uh, saw the big. You guys saw that one? Yeah. yeah, wow, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, I know it's a little, uh, you know, conditions aren't are optimal for these guys to make that. So the thing is, the mothers won't eat for about five months when they're down there. So basically, they have to spend uh, the whole amount of time feeding the calf until it's, it's fat enough to take it up here. And those babies grow about 25 kilograms a day off of mom's milk. Huge grain on mom. And because of that, the females are actually slightly larger than the males. Whale Oh, here it is, here it is. Whoa. Oh, nice. Are you getting that? This is pretty close. It is close. Yeah. Maybe right under us now. <laughs> well, that was pretty consistent. That was about four minutes. And uh, they have two blowholes, one for each lung on the back of their head. There. And you see all those white spots on their side? That's all barnacle growth. So they spend a lot of time rubbing in the sand, as I've talked about a few times. But when uh, that allows these the barnacles to stick to them, they can grow on They don't move too quickly. They'll carry about 400 pounds in this barnacle by the time you can go like that. They don't actually have any predators, uh, except for in their first year. They're small enough in the first year that orca will sometimes go after them. They're pretty tragic. But the first nation is called these guys the devil fish. Well, they're right. 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 They're right.